Welcome and thank you so much for, for joining us. My name is Derek Abbey. How, how many of you is this your first time on the Midway? Uh, I'm part of Project Recover. This course, uh, this presentation is a partnership between Project Recover and Air Force Heritage Flight. Now, a couple things I want to challenge you with as we go through, through the day is, you know, what's the value of connecting the past to the present? What can we learn from the past that we can apply to today? Also, what do you want to do with your life and how can you contribute from where you are to have an impact on the greater world around you from your seat here, from where you are today and where you're going to be in the future? We team teach at our school. So uh, I, as the science teacher, work with my co-teacher who teaches history and English. And a big philosophy of our school is to do interdisciplinary learning. So we are really excited about the chance to learn about both history and technology together and how modern science can fit um, with the study and the history of people in the U.S. My name is Laura Reagan. I'm a little different than some of our team members in that I am actually still in the Air Force. I am both a biologist and a forensic anthropologist. Uh, I am very fortunate in that I have been able to do this type of work, recovery work, identification work, and returning them to their families both on active duty in the Air Force and for Project Recover. Uh, one of my big tenements for being a freshman teacher is, is I tell them it's time for them to start thinking about their life. So it was really nice to have adults in the room who are following their passions this way. I think the kids then understand that they can do this as well. But they get to hear from people from a wide variety of backgrounds, different age groups, and who all came to this experience differently. And hopefully they get to see a little bit of themselves in that. They really had a passion for it and they really had a drive to go find our fallen soldiers. And I feel like that's one thing that's really going to stick with me to not forget what I want to do and always have my drive and passion for what I want to do and become. It was so nice to see that they were actually doing something for the families to have closure of their relatives. I also like talking to the marine biologists because I want to become one too. <laughs> when I learned about the uh, videographers and the photographers that uh, go out into the water and take pictures of the uh, crash sites of the planes uh, that like then create 3D models. I thought that was really cool because uh, photography is something I'm really into and I didn't know it could be used in that kind of way. I really like the oceanographers. I, yeah, I thought, um, I looked at the remus that they use and I thought it was really cool that they just like go out in a boat all day and then they, um, you know, they put in like tech and they like video the ocean and look for stuff. Actually, this is my favorite field trip of the year. Um, I learned a lot. It was very interactive and um, I got to learn a lot of things that I haven't learned before. What, what are we preparing them for? And it's for things like this, to find a passion, to be able to go out there, do the problem solving skills that are necessary, communicate with all the other disciplines to make it a success. Mm -hmm. These students need experiences in the real world. We need to get them out of the digital world that they live in and into the real world, communicate with other people and see that the possibilities out there that exist for themselves.